Hi folks and welcome back to another Travels of Red Rover. I'm Sean. And I'm Corrine. And where are we today, Kareed? Today we are in Girdwood, Alaska at the airport. And where are we going? We're going up on the glacier in this wonderful helicopter and we have a fun activity planned this afternoon. Yep, but we're not going to say anything quite yet. We'll show you in a couple minutes. Stay tuned. Well, we are up here at Punchbowl Glacier getting ready to take a dog sled ride with these wonderful sled dogs who are getting all excited, waiting to get selected to harness up. So right now I'm standing on the very tail of the sled and this has one important job. And the important job back here is step on the brakes when they tell you to step on the brakes. Otherwise, it's just riding along. So they're getting the dogs ready to go. And there's a lot of barking going on and it really does sound like, pick me, pick me. Uh, they seem to be really excited about getting uh, attached up and going for a little run. Everybody's tails are wagging and everybody seems to be real happy about it. So it's time for a little break and changing spots. Kareem went and stood on the back skis and she's responsible for breaking downhill here. And I'm sitting in the seat and it's my turn to photograph the dogs as we go down the hill. I hope you'll notice just how dramatic it is being up here on the glacier. It's incredibly beautiful even on a dark uh, day like we had uh, during our trip. So the way the dogs are arranged is according to smarts and strength. The dogs that are the smartest tend to be up on front, 
The dogs that tend to be the largest and strongest tend to be in the back. Uh, in some cases, and in the case of our line, some of the dogs in the back are actually very, very young and they're in training right at the moment. The two dogs way out front are actually from a team that would run in the Iditarod. They're very, very smart dogs. The, on this, this trip, we were experiencing some extra fun because the two lead dogs were being very mischievous uh, and uh, giving our musher a little bit of a hard time and uh, they absolutely know that they're being mischievous, which was a lot of fun. And just like that, we're all back where we started from. The dogs get a little rest and a treat, and we get to play with the puppies. this little gal home with her. She was absolutely beautiful, totally calm in Kareen's arms. So a lovely way to end the beautiful trip. Well, Kareen, did you enjoy your mushing? That was a great experience, and I'm glad we came up to the glacier to do it. You can also do it on a cart down uh, in Seward, but we chose to come up to the glacier here called Punchbowl Glacier. And we highly recommend coming up and doing it in the snow with the dogs. It's just so much more fun uh, to actually have the experience of being uh, mushing in the snow. So we sure hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, please hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, you can know when we release videos by hitting that bell button. And if you have any comments or questions or want to know more about how to experience uh, dog sled rides, just let us know in the comment section down below. And we'll also put the uh, information for this particular one in the section down below. And until next time, bye for now. Bye for now.